Okay, so here's another problem. We have the same equation, C8H18, the same equation as up here, I just rewrote it, and you're combusting it as well. This time, you have 28 liters of C8H18. So I'm going to write that here, 28.0 liters. And you want to know how many liters of CO2. Okay, question mark. So you can see that it's the same question here. So you know you're going to use PV equals NRT to find volume. That means you need moles, right? So here, but they gave you liters. They didn't give you grams. So can you use PV equals NRT twice to get to moles here and then get to moles again and then get to liters that way? So you can do that. You can use PV equals NRT here. You can use PV equals NRT here. But I have a shortcut for you. Okay? The shortcut happens when you're at STP. Okay? STP means standard temperature, which is 0 degrees Celsius, and 1 atm of pressure. If you're at these conditions, your gas will occupy... 22.4 liters. Okay, so let me tell you about this number. If you have a mole of helium and you're at 0 degrees Celsius, 1 atm, STP, it'll occupy this much volume. Think of a basketball. Your balloon will be about as big as a basketball if you had a mole of helium. Okay, now if you have a mole of ammonia, which is NH3, which is, you know, this is the same number of particles, 6.022 E23, okay? 6.022 E23. Because you have the same number of particles, it will occupy the same volume, 22.4 liters. If you have a mole of O2, which is 6.022 E23, you will have the same volume, 22.4 liters. So this number is pretty famous. You should start memorizing it. One mole of any gas whatsoever, because the same they have the same number of particles, will occupy the same volume at these conditions. Okay, which means one mole of any gas is 22.4 liters, or 22.4 liters of any gas is one mole. So you can use this in your stoichiometry as a shortcut. Okay, let me show you how to do that. Here you have 28.0 liters and you want to go to moles. So just write 28.0 liters C8H18. Okay, because you're at STP, I know I forgot to write it, but this is at STP, you have liters to moles. What is the conversion of any gas? This one is C8H18. Look down here. One mole of any gas is 22.4 liters. So one mole is 22.4 liters. So what you did is instead of using PV equals NRT, you just converted liters to moles. Okay, which is a shortcut. Liters cancel. Now you're on moles right here. You can go to most of the other substance. Mole C8H18 to mole of CO2, which is 16 over here and 2 over here. Now, if they want moles, you stop. If they want grams, you convert to grams. If they want something else, in this case they want liters, just do the same thing. One mole of CO2 has a liters, how many liters are in one mole of CO2? 22.4 liters. And you have done a very short problem, right? So that's a shortcut. So you go 28, wait, 28.0 divided by 22.4 times 16 divided by 2 times 22.4 equals 224, 224 liters of CO2.
So what that means is if you start with 28 liters of C8H18, you're going to end up with 22.4 liters at STP. Okay? Of CO2 at STP. Now, if you're not at STP, you have to plug it into PV equals NRT like we did in the other problem. So, just to summarize, we have done two types of problems. The first type is you're not at STP. Not at STP. If you're not at STP, you're in these conditions. They have to tell you what the conditions are. You have to use PV equals NRT. If you're at STP, then you can use the shortcut, which is this shortcut or this shortcut to get to the moles from to and from moles.